we don't talk about ableism. I was listening to a recent episode of Blind Girl Chat. It is a podcast that my friend Lena does with her friend Yuna. Both of them are blind. They are girls, hence Blind Girl Chat. One of their episodes recently focused on ableism and what it is and how to recover from it. We really don't talk about ableism. I think I've mentioned a few really weird interactions I've had with the general public, which unfortunately is the case for pretty much every other blind and low vision person that I have come to know in my entire life. I don't understand why the public feels the need to grab us and to make comments that are rude they think that they're joking and they're not, it is ableist. And if we call them out on it, or even if I say to somebody else, oh, this encounter happened to me, it made me feel uncomfortable, or it was ableist, I'm gaslit. Luckily, I have a really good support system with my parents and Ankar. Ankar is also low vision, so he kind of gets it. But unfortunately, I really do feel like people who are able-bodied, who are non-disabled, don't really understand fully a lot of them do empathize, they try to grasp it, specifically people who are very close to me and my immediate family, but some people even in my extended family give me the constant, oh, they were just trying to be nice when they asked me something patronizing, they meaning a member of the public, or oh, they wanted to help when this random woman grabbed me because she was waiting for me. She was waiting. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the video that I did when I was a speaker at White Cane Day like five years ago almost at this point, God, I feel old. But this woman was waiting at the bottom of the escalator at North Station, which is a T station in Boston. I just wanted to get to my subway platform. She grabbed me as I was getting off the escalator because she wanted to help me because she didn't think that I could do it myself. It made me so uncomfortable. The time that it happened, I was like frozen. I just said, no, like I'm good. But in reality, really, I should have just screamed and told her not to touch me because I don't know her or done something else other than that. That same day too, I got on another subway car headed back to North Station after my whole thing that I did. This random lady, as I was getting into the subway car, grabbed me and shepherded me into a seat. It was a full car. I wasn't going far. I think I was only going two, two or three stops. I could have stood and hold on to the pole. I do it a lot. But like it was just completely done without my consent. I had no bodily autonomy there and it just felt awful. Like it felt like I was being infantilized and this would not have happened if I didn't have my cane. I do need my cane when I'm out in public, mainly for identification purposes, but also because sometimes I just can't really see what the heck is going on. It depends on the environment that I'm in with the lighting and all of that. You guys know I am low vision. I am what is considered a high partial in the blindness community, meaning that I have low vision on the higher end of the blindness spectrum, so I can see pretty well. But again, it depends on where I am. For example, if I'm walking around outside and it's a sunny day, we're all good. But if I am in a restaurant where there is dim lighting, then everything kind of goes out the window because I struggle with dim or lighting and a dim lighting environment. Unfortunately, I need light. Sometimes too much light is also bad for my vision. It's a whole thing, it's annoying. I can see, but I can't, and it's very complicated. Back to the whole ableism thing. Nobody talks about it, at least not in comparison to the amount of times that people and media discuss sexism and racism and even homophobia. Nobody talks about ableism. And I feel like, especially as a member of the blind community, it's especially worse for people who are blind. I'm not going to throw a pity party here. That is not the intent to have a pity party. And the whole thing is that you should not be feeling pity. Like, don't feel bad for the blind person. This is my life. This is all I know. And for somebody who has lost their vision later in life, then they are able to perfectly adapt to that life if they have the proper training and rehabilitation. However, I am not cool with random people grabbing me or assuming that I can't do something just because they can't see that well. Or for someone talking to the other person that I'm with instead of me directly. It just, it bothers me. It didn't happen as much when I was working with Fawn. People would come up to me and talk to me or talk to Fawn more likely, but they weren't like grabbing me and shepherding me places. It really sucks because like I, I like my cane not to say I didn't love working fawn, but right now, you know, I've adjusted more to my cane. I've used my cane since I was like eight. I'm 30. 
and I only worked Fawn for a couple of years because she had to retire early due to dog distractions. However, when I am out in public, regardless of if I'm with the cane or the dog, I feel like I am a walking social experiment sometimes. I say this so often because I genuinely think that it is true. The general public, in my humble opinion, and in, in my experiences, do not know what it is to have low vision to be visually impaired they see a cane or a guide dog and they automatically think oh my god blind person completely blind person let me help the blind person and it's like no please don't touch me please don't grab me please don't pull me somewhere that you think i'm going to go i know where i'm going i know what i'm doing i always carry myself with the confidence that i know where i'm going even if i don't and i constantly feel like i and other people in the blind community have to prove myself every single day just for people to take me seriously because of my disability and it just kills me it's 2024 we need to be talking about ableism anyway thank you guys for coming to my ted talk i hope you appreciated this video leave any comments feedback and suggestions down below subscribe if you haven't already i will see you in the next one bye